Hello everyone, welcome back to Profile Master YouTube channels. In today's video, I will show you a step by step guide how can you connect your Zanga project with your MySQL database. And I have a blog website, I will show you the connections in a very simpler way. And at the last, we can also do a query how can you extract the data from your database server. So, without wasting your time, let's begin it. So, before making the connection, we need to download the MySQL database to our system. So, let's download it. Just click on the download buttons and here no thanks just start my download just click on it and after that open the file and make the installation on our local system it will server only and full okay tap next next you still running with your selected part yes it's cute okay i will let the file install let it complete and finally our file has downloaded here so just click on the next button and again execute it and again it will take some time just wait for that come on come on fast install it finally the installation has completed so just click next again again next and our port is uh, 3306 so again click next and next and write the password here uh, i will take the password as admin so here check it and again click next next and after that it's cute finally all the configuration has applied here so just finish it okay click again next just finish it so here is showing to connect to the server so i will put the password here okay let it check connection succeed next and it's cute so that finish it next and finish so finally in this way you can install the mysql workbench in our system so I have a block project so that I will uh, create a new connection here and name it blog db okay after that uh, click just ok and click on it the password admin finally our database is connected now let's connect this MySQL interface with our Django project so finally i have opened my vs codes for the connections with the sql database we need to install two libraries here so let's uh, install the libraries so pip install mysql client and another one is pip install the mysql okay finally we have done with that and we also need to define it in the initiate file so also define here so here write this code Okay, and make the save. After that, make the modifications on our settings.py files. We need to define all the things here like this. Our engine should be MySQL backends, and the database name is blockdb. Our root, uh, our username is root, and the password is admin. And this is our host of our database, and this is the port number of that database. Okay. So finally we have done with that so let's uh, make the migrations of all the files i minus dot py make migration okay here is showing we have not installed the pillow so let's first install the pillow pillow is the library which are used for the handling of the image file or media files okay so let's install it again again make the migration minus dot py make migration okay so he is showing a noun database log db so let's check it here okay we have not created the database so here is a schema get a new schema and name the database blog db okay apply the change and make it apply okay 
finally it created here like this and when we make the migration then all the files came here so let's make them migrate again let's first clear our terminals and pi minus dot py make migration and also migrate the file python minus dot py migrate all the migrations take place here let's start our server minus dot py run server and after that all the files that are saved in our sql light database that are provided by the django are auto deleted so we need to again reload all the data there so for that let's create the super username again minus dot py create super user i'll give the admin 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 okay again start a server so let's click here and our this block site has open and let's take our database and it is login and here you can see there is no in data available so let's just post one thing hello this is the testing post okay also name let's take it to broccoli master uh, i will see. i'm giving it a random image okay so this is the testing content and define here categories and let's let it post upload main post okay so save so refresh our yes so we will finally see here one post is available so after that uh let's check the file in our database and let's refresh it in the table in the table you can see that all the files get migrated here so this is our home blog page and so if i if you have a query how can you check all the records that are available in our sql database so let's check it for this let uh open the query and here write the code what i am writing here so write this code here use blog db this is our database name and use our column name here select all from and here is the home blog okay and it closes just click in control shift plus enter and it will execute all the files and here is the record that we are saved in our sql database and finally in this way you can make the modifications that are needed to connect the mysql database with your blog django projects and we have also seen that how can you extract the data from your sql database that are provided by the django and you can also operate the crude operations directly in the mysql database so this is for today thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and comment below what types of video do you want to see on the next video keep watching and keep coding thank you